for the last 15 years and control diabetes. <coughs> I want somebody of you examine the autonomic nervous system in this patient. Anybody? Okay. Anybody? Autonomic nervous system. Sir, question. احنا نبدأ. Diabetes affect neurology in this way. Peripheral neuropathy. Understand? Peripheral neuropathy usually involving the lower limb, sometimes the upper limbs. It 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 appear if the patient got diabetes and control for 15 years and more. Usually, it, it means that the patient is uncontrolled his condition, diabetes, usually is a progressive, not, not responding to any treatment, is going on, process. This is the first neurological, neurological complication of diabetes. The second, amyotrophic lateral wasting of this muscle, proximal muscle, and the patient, he cannot get up from sitting and wasting of the muscle in the thigh. The third one affected is a, a, a cranial nerve being affected. Any cranial nerve can be affected by the diabetes, usually the third, the sixth. Reflexes sometimes being lost by diabetes. And the other one is that the autonomic nervous system. Examination of the autonomic nervous system, you should ask your patient many questions. Which question we should ask the patient? First of all, we ask our patient, do you get do you get dizzy while you are from sitting position on a standing? And the guy will go do yes, he says he got dizzy from sitting position when he got standing. Therefore, this patient got what? Postural hypotension. Postural hypotension. That's first. Okay? Tell me about sweating in your face. Is it more or less in the hot weather in Iraq? Yes. Less? Yes. Less sweating. Okay? Yes. Third question. Do you have running heart? It means tachycardia. Do you have running heart? Yes. Yes, usually those with the autonomic nervous system, they do get what? A running heart. At a tachycardia, what they call trust in tachycardia. The other question, do you get diarrhea? Have you got diarrhea? Expulsive diarrhea sometimes. <coughs> usually constipation in nearly 50% and diarrhea in 50%. Expulsive diarrhea at night. Sometimes he cannot reach the toilet. I mean, defecating on himself. This is typical of autonomic nervous system diseases in diabetes. Other one, do you get impotence? Still, 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 he is, still is not being affected, is still working because probably he's young. And uh, those people, they get usually impotence, failure of ejaculation. The other one, do you get bladder, bladder urgency, difficulty? I mean, urinate, small urine, etc. Yes, sometimes they do get bladder. After you finish this question, the other question, do you get edema in your, your food? Usually, dependent edema in diabetes with the autonomic nervous system disease, dependent edema on both feet, on both feet. Okay, now, what we are, how we examine the autonomic nervous system? The most difficult question in neurology is this. How we examine the autonomic nervous system? Unexpected question. Yeah. Nobody will, will explain it, I mean, in usual teaching. First of all, we, we, we take the, the pulse and we count the pulse. It's usually tachycardia. The second, second, we measure the blood pressure. Sitting down. And usually those blood pressure is high. Diabetic usually associated with high blood pressure. In normal blood pressure in diabetes usually 120 and less systole and 80 and less diastole. If it is more than this, it is hypertension, hypertension considered in diabetes. 
we measure the, the, the blood pressure while he is sitting or sleeping or lying and we measure it while he is standing we will find what? Postural, postural hypotension <laughs> okay postural hypotension how we define postural hypotension? <laughs> It is a drop in systole more than 20 millimeter on standing. Okay, yeah. that's postural hypotension. The, the third examination in this patient, we ask the patient to look to that refrigerator and we, just look to the refrigerator.